हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू गिकी संजय टुडे वी आर मेकिंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो स्पेशली फॉर आवर फ्रेंड्स ऑफ स्केलर आई विल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू सबमिट योर असाइनमेंट डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम इंटेलिजे टू द स्केलर सर्वर लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Remember in our last eight menu assignment video, I mentioned that we did create another video to the test that assignment code. If you haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend checking it out. I have included the link in the description below. Today we are just going to continue with the with that code. If you are wondering how to get the assignment from the Scalar repository onto your local machine, don't worry. I had already created a video on that topic and I have included the link in the description as well. Let's continue from where we left off with the last assignment. So we open this last assignment as you can see add menu item and we have completed all the steps only the pending step to be tested. So today we are just doing that. Okay. So now whenever we fetch code from the scalar repository, it has two branches. main and staging after cloning the data from the scalar repo we need to switch the staging branch using git checkout staging then after making changes we will push the code assignment the staging branch because we cannot push directly to the master so we will use the command git push origin staging okay and if you are unable to check out in the branch of staging so you can just simply write it down here git fetch so what it will do it will get, it will fetch all the branches from the server and then you just check out in the staging branch and just make your changes after making the changes just write it down the command add git add to add all files and then you have to write the command git commit dash m and write it down the commit whatever changes you made and that's it now after commit you save your file on the local now we have to push this on the staging server of the scalar so for this you can do first git status to check is all file is saved or not if is all file is saved it will tells you nothing to commit working tree clean okay now we have to only one step which we have to push and we have to test there okay so as you can see the code has been pushed if you are not familiar with git don't worry you can visit my git playlist which i will mention in the description for you so you can see this all commands there i have explained in brief so i will write it down here git check out sorry uh, first we will check the branch git branch so here you can see we have two branch one is the master and one is the staging okay so i am already in the staging i completed my all the task and i just uh, committed the changes now i will write it down git push origin what is the origin i already explained in my git video you can see there okay this is the local convention to uh, just represent the server uh, url so how we will add this origin you can see there okay git push origin and then we will write it down the staging okay and we will click on enter so it will take some time now you can see we already pushed our code 39 files this is already showing okay so now it is updated on the staging server okay and as you can see the code has been pushed to the repo now we will go to the website and check if the code is updated or not if it's not updated we will do a hard refresh for windows user we will use control plus shift plus r to hard refresh so as you can see we already uh, here on our uh, assignment panel and we will see is the code is coming here or not you can here is you can see this add menu item is there and we have only menu service dot java file here and whenever you are going there you can see we have two files in the services we implemented file also there okay 
So I just refresh here. You can do simple refresh here. Sometimes it will not refresh. So we will do the hard refresh as I told you. We will just use the control plus shift plus R for the hard refresh. What it will do? Hard refresh, remove your caching, local cache and it will update your code. Okay. So I am just doing control shift R here. As you can see, this is reloading. Okay. After reloading, we will check the file is updated or not. If you learn something, so I request you please like this video and comment on this video. It is very important for this video to monetization. Okay. Now we will see again here SRC main and Java com Kler. Here we have a service file. And now you can see we have our pushed code here in the service file and all file rip here you can see all file came here by simple pushing code in the staging branch okay so if the code is still not updated we will click on the three dots near the url and clear the cache of the scalar website sometime it takes while the refresh the code is in the assignment panel so as you can see on the hard refresh it is already updated the code but still after hard refresh it will not update it on your uh, repository just go there and simply click on this and here you can see cookies and site data click on this manage on device data site and this you can see you have to remove this both okay and you have to make done whenever you remove your uh, you will sign out from your account then you again sign in and you come here and refresh it will work the same okay so it will update it from there so now this is done now i will click on the submit and we will check the code is working fine or not so i click on here submit so as you can see i after submitting the all page is success and answer is correct so it is very easy to use so because i have seen many of our friends was facing the issue so it is just simply write it code in the IntelliJ and push the code. That's it for today's video. This topic is really important and it will save us a lot of time by not having to copy paste code onto the scalar platform. Plus we get to use all the perks of IntelliJ with its auto completion feature. If you learn anything from this video, make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Thank you.